Yo! Cool. You notice it straight away, don't you? Bit different from before, innit? You can tell. You definitely directly notice it. Welcome, Welcome to the fourth episode of our Toyota Super Project. In the last episode, we achieved remarkable performance values on the test bench behind me after the power upgrade. But that was pure theory. Today, we are putting it into practice. We'll drive the Super on the road together with Franz Simon. Exactly, we've measured the performance, everything is great, it runs well, the values are right. But for me, a test drive is always an essential part of the job. We'll do that now, I'll drive, but don't worry, you'll get your turn too. Now that'll be fun. Right, Nico. So, let's take the Super out for a little spin and check that everything is working properly. For me, it's something that has to be done every time. Of course, the performance has to be measured so that we have an indication of how it is, but a test drive is also important in order to see whether the car is running properly, that is, whether it doesn't jerk, whether a light comes on, any light whatsoever, and we don't want to see that. You don't have to drive for kilometers to see that. You can see it immediately. If you've got a problem, it'll pop up right away. Yeah. As you can see, the car drives normally, but nobody wants to drive normally. That's why I'd like you to turn on the sports mode. Sports mode on? Exactly. I always drive in manual. In sports mode, you can hear the rumbling. I've just programmed that. Very good. Nothing too obtrusive. I only deactivated the thrust cutoff in sport mode. That means the engine continues to inject and ignite. The ignition is in minus, and that's where you hear this rumble. It's a bit of a sound and emotion tuning. Emotions, exactly. That's part of it. Many people want it like that, not too extreme. Let's take a short drive of the motorway. I'll take it up to second, third, fourth, fifth gear, give it a fourth throttle. We'll see whether some light comes on, if everything's good and if it's all right, I'll hand over the helm to you. So the first thing we do, of course, is to not turn off the traction control altogether, but set it to traction. Yep. Now let's hope we don't have too much traffic. Should be okay at this time of the day. It's very warm outside. It's 30.5 degrees. That's right. It makes a lot of difference. That has to be mentioned. It makes a lot of difference, especially for turbocharged engines. Warm or hot air is harder to compress, which means you always automatically have less power, a little less turbocharger pressure. And of course, if I program it, if I protect the components and all of them are active, then the temperature of the air intake goes up. The power automatically goes down. Yep. So now let's give it a go. Ready? Ready. You, you notice it straight away, don't you? Okay. Bit different from before, innit? You can tell. You definitely directly notice it. We now have pressure from the bottom to the top of the entire rev range. That's good. Motorway is fun, but the racetrack is usually even better with the curves, the acceleration and so on. So I think that would make your heart beat even faster. That's how it should be. But now let's change. Cool. Now you can drive, and I'll be the annoying co-driver. And then you can see how it drives. You know, there's no second chance for a first impression. That's probably true. And you're welcome to get your first impression right now. All right. <laughs> Men always turn into children with this again and again, don't they? With things like that, yes, always. So, I'm going to get out my mobile phone because we're going to do something really cool. We're going to measure how fast this car accelerates between 100 and 200 k's. With this data, you can even calculate the performance. That's possible as well. Okay, we'll do that right now. Yes, but first drive the car. Get an impression. Using the Toyota as a basis is very good. The car is very small, light. Absolutely, yes. Has a short wheelbase. That's exactly why the car has such a good reputation. Because you have a good basis which you can refine. Especially for you as a tuner, I think. Also, with regard to the engine, you've mentioned that. BMW technology, six cylinders, single turbo, so a pure six cylinder that simply works. Fire it up. Yep. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. You notice that, yes? Because it accelerates starting from 150, so there's always traction. We're going to have a look right now. We can do that right now. So as I'm concerned, we can... Uh, I'll take my foot off the pedal a bit. We're measuring with the GPS, and then you can accelerate up to say, let's say, from 90 to 210, according to the speedometer, something like that. Okay. And then we'll compare the entire thing, but in third gear. All right, third gear. Yes, exactly. We have torque, so that shouldn't be a problem. Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Pedal to the metal. 
Fourth gear, 140, 160, 180 kmh, and we're at 200 k's. Perfect, that's good. So with two people, we have two segments in the fuel gauge, 8.3 seconds with 0.73% uphill grade. Okay. Revise that 7.87 seconds from 100 to 200 k's. You drive a C63S? Yes. The C63S Coupe is a standard, goes from 100 to 200 k's in 8.7 seconds. That means this Supra here will give your car something to chew on. Okay. You really wouldn't think it, would you? So I really don't like what you're saying here anymore, but I understand what you mean. And compared to a normal Supra? As a standard car like that, I'd say with two people in this weather, 32 degrees Celsius, that's pretty warm in this weather, a standard car would need 12 and a half seconds. Wow. So it's about four seconds faster than before. Yeah, so it's definitely impressive what you've done there with the electronics. Of course, we've also changed the hardware, and you said not even everything of the hardware has been changed. Yes, but we've already got a lot out of just the electronics. Yes, that's the main part. And the other things which we need are, as they say, the supporting mods. Now, there's no one around. Should we give it a go? So, 90, third gear. Exactly, change gears at around six and a half thousand revs. Yeah, the gear change indicators are set like that. Exactly, so 190, keep going. 200, 210. Yes, all right, got it. 210 according to the speedometer, that makes about 208, so 200 would be, look, interesting. Now we're already at 8.58 seconds, right? From 100 to 200 k's, that means we're at about half a second slower than the first acceleration. Although we've already had the whole cooling system working. Intercooler, gearbox, oil cooler, and so on. But 31 degrees Celsius. Yep, we fired it up several times, so everything heats up. If we were to drive it again now, for example, bit by bit, it would become steadier. Okay. You won't go much slower now. Of course. Yes, sure, but the optimum state is when the car is extremely cold. Super cool. It's really fun. It has emotions, which is something I like. It's not just the exhaust, but the overall concept. The bucket seats, the roll bar. You feel like you're in a racing car, right? Exactly, absolutely. And in combination with everything else, it's really cool and fun. Pretty cool, isn't it? And I have to say, you did a top job too. Thank you very much. What I also like a lot, I can now leave sport mode again, go to normal automatic, and then we're gliding along again back to your place. Exactly. Exhaust valve closed again, no popping, no nothing. Pleasant. Pleasant. Well, friends, thank you very much. Not at all, it was a pleasure. Great. Let's go back to your place. Exactly. And then, you've already finished your part of the job for us, so to speak. That's right. Great, thanks a lot. All right, pedal to the metal. Yep. <laughs> We're coming to the end of our fourth episode, and I'm really very happy with the current status we have achieved. After the test drive, I can say that we have not only performance in the car, but also emotion, and the car is really fun. Next, we'll discuss a topic that Bielstein, of course, stands for, namely the suspension. Something we haven't discussed at all yet. We'll install a new Evo T1 suspension, which will not only be perfect for the racetrack, but also quite drivable on the road. We'll install it together with Black Falcon, one of our racing team partners. That will be the next video. At the moment, we also have this wolf in sheep's clothing. The car still looks relatively unchanged from the outside, and we'll change that too. But now, just to show you the current status, we have a few photos for you.